What's up guys, Reefer NYC back with another video and today it's going to do a quick unboxing of some reef accessories from Printed Reef. Uh, basically just got these packages from Printed Reef. Um, just a random assortment of 3D printed products ranging from plugs to bristle worm traps to mushroom cages. Basically going to open them all up, um, put them in my tank. Um, these are really cool and show you what I got from them. So yeah, let's get started. This is the mushroom cage from Printed Reef, 3D printed, as you can see with the honeycomb uh, look to them, just like in the picture. I'm uh, gonna open that up real quick. Next we have the bristle worm trap, gonna put these in my tanks. I don't really have a huge bristle worm trap, they are in my tank, but I mean, let's see what this does, let's see what it pulls out. Next we have, so we got a couple of these uh, coral placement starter packs. This is the purple version. Um, there we go. There's a the light. It's better. Basically, we got some SPS sticks. We got some the ones that go in the sand, some that goes into the holes of the rocks. Uh, let me show you real quick. This is the one that goes into the sand. Basically, turn it and it goes into your sand, and you can put some plugs on there. Uh, these are just like frag plugs, but they also fit into like tiny holes into your rocks, which is really cool. These are the frag plug holders. So if you have frag plugs and you just tuck them inside this hole and then you could put it into a rock as well. So we got those in different colors. Here's another one of the mushroom cage in different sizes. I believe they come in bigger sizes as well. So I got the clear one, the orange one, and we have the different colors that printed roof supplies. So I got white, orange, black. Uh, this was a sample pack. Got some goodies, of course, which is really cool. But yeah, we're gonna start using these into my tank. Uh, maybe even give some away. So stay tuned, check out my Instagram for any contests or just giveaways. But yeah, let's open these up and put them to use. Be right back. Alrighty, here's the tank. Gonna use some of the reef plugs. I already attached one of my alveopores to the, the sand accessory. As you can see here, fits on a standard frag plug really easy so it's not sitting on the sand. So it'll encrust all over the, the frag plug itself. And I'll show you how it goes in. So basically, we wanna put it right here, spin it in, keeps going in. Oops, sorry, clam. That's pretty much it. You can bury it a little bit. So now it's off the sand, getting less irritated. And now we can let it grow from there. Um, oh, I see a coral that just fell over here. So maybe I'll use one of the frag plugs to glue, to, uh, glue down this uh, red digi forest fire. We'll glue it down to the frag plug and then stick it into one of these holes over here. So stay tuned. So yeah, same deal with this one. This one actually was perfect without using a frag plug. So I just used this version of the accessory. This one, you can put a frag plug in it, but I just stuck the, the SPS within the, the hole here and it should be fine too. As you can see, I'm just shaking a little bit. No issues, not gonna come off, so it's really tight on there. Um, so let me see if I could find a hole that'll hold this. I mean, a little bit difficult, but let's see. So these, this is um, Carib Sea Life Rocks. So I don't know if you guys know, that it's not very porous. There are hole cutouts for frag plugs itself but I don't see any openings maybe up here. No. Yeah, I just gotta find a hole for it, but you pretty much get the idea. Find a hole in it, stick it in, should be good. All right, on to the next accessory. Alrighty, so next we have the shroom pretty much cage uh, that is also from Printed Reef. Basically, it's a box, well, cylinder, lid comes off, Put a frag plug or a frag rock in there, put your mushroom in there, give it a few weeks and it'll encrust on the rock. So pretty easy, pretty simple, <clears throat> very effective as far as, you know, invertebrates not knocking it over, fish trying to nip at it. Um, very, very easy to use. I haven't even seen any of these snails trying to crawl in there either. So very cool. Um, but yeah, let me just give you a quick update. Um, there's the frag plug on the stand as well. We have one in the back and we have all the Ghani's alvapores on the plugs too. This one is actually doing really well because it was 
if you check my previous video, it was on a sand and it was getting irritated and it wasn't fully uh, out. But now you can see all the polyps extended and everything's looking really good. But yeah, highly recommend um, Printed Reef. They have a bunch of other accessories as well, whether it be like bristle worm, bristle worm traps or, you know, extra frag plugs or just printed 3D printed accessories in general that perfect for your reef. So definitely check them out, printedreef.com. I'll leave a link in the description. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.